Reginald Mitchell's superlative Spitfire was, like the Hawker Hurricane, conceived with one paramount purpose, to provide the RAF with a fighter to defend Britain from Germany's Luftwaffe. From the beginning of World War II in 1939, through the Battle of Britain and onward to the end of the war, the Spitfire gave exemplary service to the RAF and other Commonwealth squadrons. When production ceased in 1948, over 20,000 Spitfires had been built. The eight-gun Spitfire Mark I, which had first flown in prototype form on March 5, 1936, equipped 19 fighter command squadrons at the beginning of the Battle of Britain and proved a satisfactory match against the German Messerschmitt BF-109E fighter. By the end of that great battle, the Merlin-powered Mark IIA was entering service. The Mark IIB, with its two cannons and four machine guns, was close behind. In 1942, starting with the Mark VI, high-altitude Spitfires were introduced in an attempt to counter high-flying German reconnaissance aircraft over Britain. The Mark VIII was fully tropicalized, with a greatly improved engine air filter system over earlier versions. This improvement was vital for protection of the engine in a dust cloud environment at airfields from which the aircraft operated in the Far East and the Mediterranean. 